of the internet, the world's top broadcaster and the world's most humble man. Popping up to say hi to every single one of you with our phone in. Now, these are just tests. We're still opting for when exactly to have the phone in. But we think the best time might be a Friday at 10 o'clock in the evening. What do you think about that? But we could talk about that over the course of this little phone in. I mean, that's what it's all about, I say, and dinky do. Last night we popped up just for a short version to check all the technical side, see that everything was working properly, and I suspect it is. Otherwise, you would have told me. That's rather good, isn't it? So there we are. So the phone lines are open. If you want to give us a call, you're very, very welcome. You'll see the number just below there, 0141. 628-9795. If you've just joined us, a very warm welcome. You're watching Scotty McClue, the first lord of the internet. As I say, hashtag float eye, all in uppercase. So there we go. And uh, you can call as soon as you like. I will take your calls and we will ch chat. Now, we've touched on a couple of very, very interesting subjects. I want to keep away from things like the pandemic. We've had two solid years of that. I've also felt that mainstream media is failing you a bit and you do need your own phone in. That's the reason we're starting with the phone in. We think Friday night's best time, but you decide. It's very important because this is our program. This is our time. We're not tied to any particular body or radio station or agenda or anything like that. So it's entirely up to you. We're also streaming live on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitch. If you're watching us on YouTube, make sure you've subscribed and tap the bell. The reason for this is then you can receive notifications. Let me know when Scotty McClue goes live. And that is very, very important as well. I also thought it's important to deliver to the public worldwide their own phone-in show because there aren't really any proper phone-in shows now. There are speech programs on radio and television, but you'll find they talk at you. They don't talk with you and to you and walk beside you, that sort of idea. That's what Scotty McClue does. Now, I've only got 30 years experience coming up in June. All right, so we're in our 30th year. We've had 29 years of the live phone in. Very, very important. So I think we probably know our stuff. There we go. Hi, Scotty. I'm not well. I have the cold. Kareem. Please don't stand too close to your phone. We don't want to pass that on. <laughs> no, my dear man, I am very sorry to hear that. And I send you strength and I send you great joy. Please recover quickly. And uh, I hope all is well with you. There's a lot of that going around. And of course, people start to panic. They think, oh, have I got the COVID? But it could just be the common cold. They are, and I'm sure you were checking that. I won't be calling tonight. Have a great show. Not at all, Kareem. We quite understand you are excused boots because you are an outstanding contributor to the show, an outstanding caller, and a jolly nice guy. And to get the three of those in one person, that's a great start. So strong and well, Kareem. Off to Bobo's with you, please, with uh, a hot drink. And uh, get yourself sorted, get strong and well. Scotty McClure just chatting to Kareem, one of our great contributors to the phone in. Over a long time now, when we're doing the Nation Radio phone in on Friday, Saturday and Sunday, Kareem was there and usually managed to get in first. That I admire. If you've just joined us, welcome, welcome. Lovely to see so many of you coming and joining us. Thank you very much. We are, of course, live streaming on Twitch at Scotty underscore McClue. So get on and follow on Twitch. If you are a Twitcher with a Twitch account, I'm in just chatting, just chatting on Twitch, Scotty underscore McClue. Follow and you'll see the videos there for your enjoyment, edification and delight. For the YouTubers, 
We are live on YouTube right now. You've got 1,600 videos for your enjoyment, edification, and delight. You're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Hello, Scotty. It's uh, me, myself, and I. The me, myself, three. and I. The three stooges for Edinburgh, Ken. The three numpty. The three numpty. No, one numpty heed. Professor Numpty heed. Absolutely. But he who sponsored the Scotty McClue phone in on his Todd. <laughs> it was for a good cause, Scotty. Oh, my oh, goodness me. Oh, what I, I can't thank you enough because, as you well know, nothing stands still. And boy, did I have to shell out to get us this phone in. And then along comes just your wee surprise, a wee bundle of joy. Well, I'm delighted how the phone-ins went so far, Scotty, because I've heard nothing but good things about it. Ah, have you been putting the word out? No, I'm, I'm still on my holidays at the Doug Caravan. Oh, so you are. You're doing at uh, the Bonnie, the Bonnie Imuth. Well, it's a wee village just outside I'm out called Coldenham, Scotty. Coddingham, Coddingham. Uh, Is it uh, no... Coldenham. Coldingham. I've always yeah. called it Coddingham. So I, I was wrong. You were right. There's a change. Okay. Here, listen, Scotty, I thought I'd phone in first for a change. I thought I'd beat Kareem. Yeah. Well, poor Kareem has already been on the chat and he's got the cold. Oh, he's all worked. I've got an excuse, Scotty. That's because I've beat him to the phone. <laughs> Fantastic. Yeah, You've done very, very well tonight. Now, two seconds, Numpty. I've just got Hi. to tell the Chatterbox people something. Hi, Scotty. Has this just started? Says, oh, hi, Scotty. Long time no see. Says Susan Shaw. Vaughn says, dinky do. And, wait till we see this. Has this just started? Says Suzanne. Yes, Suzanne. We're just on this minute. So you can chill. There we are. Now, Scotty, I, 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 I want to tell you a story, and then the story is the reason why I skived the school. Is there, a, is, is there a pie at half time in this story? No, but I'll try and make it through the first period. Because I can, your stories can be quite a lengthy story. The, the Waynes will be sleeping. Aye, aye, but listen, when I think back, I know why I skive three days out of five, you know? Three out of five? Aye. What were you three... thinking? Well, Kim, what well, was? I blame, I blame the register teacher, because if you were me in your seat by the bell stopping, you were given detention. Well, detention. if you were held up by the Kim coming up the stairs, because Kim. the the, crowd, the mad rush Kim. to get to their classes. Ken. And if you can make it, you're not going to, you're, you're getting detention. So you thought, well, what's the point? I'm not going in. I'll just sky for the day or I'll get punished if I go in. I think punishment makes young people dishonest. Well, it certainly made me sky the school. Aye. Story. Well, I'll tell you what I used to do. We had a boy stood at the front door with a belt. And if you were late, he saw you coming up the playground and he belted you. Anyway, I found a side entrance you could just duke in and you had to sneak behind him. Oh, well, he was too busy looking at the gate. He was looking at the gate for the latecomers and McClue wow. was able to do the soft shoe shuffle. <laughs> the moonwalk. <laughs> the old moonwalk. I hint him. I was in a hint him. Now, you'll understand that being a, a good Edinburgh man to be in a hint. Absolutely, Scotty. <laughs> now, listen, for the first time ever, I've nothing else to say, Scotty. Well, my goodness, what's happened? We'll have to just diddly dumb the rest of the call. I'm worried in case you faint. I might, with the shock of it. You've been well, tongue tied. Studio nurse, studio nurse. I think we'll need to get the studio nurse. I think your missus has tongue tied you. Absolutely, she's away up the road, Scotty. <laughs> you can't blame her. <laughs> Absolutely. Listen, Everybody. Numpty Heed, thanks again and take great care of you. You're very and precious. It's, it's been lovely talking to you, Scotty. It's always lovely talking to you and a big dinky do. Right, yeah, Scotty. Take care and dinky do. Ta See ya, buddy. Ta la la la. There we are. That's it, Professor Numpty Heed, and he's off skate.
So there we go. Kareem's not calling tonight. Low pie at half time, says Eddie. Thanks for joining us, Eddie. What's the topic tonight? Are we winging it? Vaughn, when have we ever winged it on Scotty McClue's show? So much to talk about tonight. So little time to do it. In. I must take the next caller. You're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Scotty. Yes, sir. How are you doing? How are you, Scotty? It's Eddie Boy. It's Eddie Boy. How are you doing, my friend? How are thou? Eddie Free Newmarket. Yes, yes, indeed, Scotty. Eddie, yes. how are thou, my boy? How lovely to I'm, hear you. I'm fine. Very, very, very well, my brother. <laughs> now, yes, yes, my brother. Now, tell me this, Eddie. You're just the man. Because you're a big hoops man. Is that right? Aye. Now, I am very upset about this sectarianism. And I was arguing with a Rangers boy today who didn't right. seem to understand. He says, I think you don't know about the old firm, Scotty. I think, you know, and I thought, oh, no, no, I know all about it. But, you know, I mean, I'm not a big football man, but I know about the, the old Neither firm. Am I, Scotty. Neither and am I, and I'm what I was right. thinking, right. I tried to, he says, but you see, it's different religions. I said, they are the same religion. They're Christian. You know, yes. so why are they argy bargy? I don't think religion and sectarianism, sectarianism should come into football. No, no. Football's a sport, you know, and it's all about going to watch your team, having a good day. And I remember when I was young, I used to get a pie and bovril. Oh, <laughs> lovely. The pie right. and bovril, you can he beat it? But listen, Scotty, just, just I don't want to take up too much of your time. I know you're a busy man. No, but you're fine, Eddie. It's lovely to hear you. How, how are you thinking Aye. the phone-in's going? The phone-in's going swell. The phone-in's go, phone going swell. I, I, I think it's brilliant, Scotty. I mean, like, like see the phone-in, Scotty, years ago on the radio? Yes. I'm sure you'll agree with me when I say this, right? See, for just one person getting through and being able to talk to you, that can make that person's full day, you know? <sighs> Well, it's very kind of you to say so, but it was a huge, Aye. huge event. And if we can recreate even a bit of it on here, we are doing very Aye. well. I hope you don't mind me asking, Scotty, but I remember you were talking about a radio station called Ocean Radio. Yes, I didn't hear any more about it, I'm afraid to tell you. Right, okay. So Aye. that's that's that one. But there's uh, there's more chat in the pipeline. And the one yes. I'm talking about is is big, you know? Right. It's yeah. big, and yeah. you'd be able to hear it no problem. Right. Just before I go, Scotty, I hope, I'm not, I hope you don't mind me changing the subject. I don't bit, mind right? at all, Eddie. You set the agenda because okay. you are the people. Right, okay. Can I ask you a couple of questions, Scotty? Yes. Yes, right. What's your opinion on the Brigitte and Paddy's market been shut down when it did? That was going on for 200 years, Scotty. I know. I know. Well, I mean, I think actually the pandemic's put paid to a lot of things. And I don't right. know the ins and outs of it, but I mean, I absolutely loved all that. You know what I mean? So did I. Yeah. Because, yeah, because it's real people and real stuff, and you could actually buy what you're needing. Yes. Yeah. You know, you could yeah, buy what you're needing. Do you remember the bracket? Yes, of course I do. And uh, and I tell you another place I love is the Barras. Oh, the Barras isn't the same the way it used to be, Scotty. Now, the Barras was yeah, great. You could spend a Saturday, but I'll tell you, see if you want a great day out. I can remember opening the Forge Market 25 years ago. Park Heat. Down at Parkheed. And what a joy Aye. that place is. So I would say Aye, to people, absolutely. the last time I was down at the Forge Market, obviously, pre-pandemic it was absolutely jumping Aye. great Aye. place now, i watched i always watch your wee videos on youtube scotty right yes and i believe correct me if i'm wrong you said you used to live in mary hall i think this was a conversation where you were talking about you were talking to a lady yes and you said i'll buy it after you and you never even went to view it said, oh that was it she said she'd bought her flat for 800 pound i says i'll give Aye. you a thousand without seeing it I remember you said when you were, when you were in Mary Hill, you could get anything from a sewing needle to 
to an anchor. A needle to an anchor on the Mary Hill Road. The Mary Hill Road went all the way up, away past the gas pipe, away past the yes. Charles Rennie Macintosh Church at Queen's Cross, right all yes. the way out to Bears Den. There used to be a wee shop, Scotty, next to a place called the Community Halls. Do you remember the Community Halls? Yes, Hall? I know the Community oh, Halls well. Just at the aye. opposite, if you were coming up Napier's Hall. Napier's Hall Street, aye. Aye, do you mind that? You could turn off aye. the Great Western Road. And you yes. could turn up, you'd got Lansdowne, Holyrood, Napier's Hall. Yes. Yes, just see, at the cathedral the, there. See where the community halls was, Scotty. I remember when I was a wee boy, there used to be a shop there. And outside it would be dustbins, mops, shops, yes. everything. It was called Maid's Stores, I think. It was That's called. it, a proper ironmonger's. Oh, that was a proper shop. Uh, and do you know what I loved about these shops? You could get everything paraffin for your heater, your wee. Yeah. You know, and they smell of soap, soap and paraffin. Aye, but you don't get shops like that. No, and that's, well, I know where there's a couple. I know where there's a couple. But yes, a couple of cracking shops like that. But that was the kind of shop, what you did, you, and every town and every city's got them because I've worked all over the UK, as you know. And uh, when you go into these shops, there's a boy usually with either a brown coat, real four candle stuff, a brown coat or a grey coat, and he comes you over. And, with me, Scott, you remind me of a janitor. Yes, that's it. And you can't get in the shop for stuff. And when yeah, when you go in, you find a wee space, and they're always mobbed. And when it's your turn in the queue, you hand them something. So where have I got it? Something like that, right? So I hand them some. Say I handed them some like this. Says, "Excuse me, would you have anything like that?" Now the first thing he does, he takes it off you, and he goes like this. Yep. Aye. No, I don't think so. These these are scarcer than hen's teeth. And then he goes like this. Just give me a minute. And he comes back with a box of them. Do you do you do you remember Scotty when you were a wee boy, right? And you would get into one of the shops for some sweeties, right? They had the penny tray. The penny that? tray. I put up a post about it recently. You used to go in and you said, yes, son. They said, she said, could I get the penny tray, please? And they brought out a wee plastic tray with sweeties on it, caramels and uh -huh. things. And you yeah. stood and you looked and you looked and you looked. And they, the poor <laughs> shop assistant had to stand there. And eventually they might say, are you seeing anything you like there? And all you right. thought, I like them all. I'll get one of them. And then you put it back and went, no, I'll hear one of them. And it was always a Macowan's chew. The, the fondest memories I had of that, Scotty, was a penny caramel. That's the one I'm talking. You know, and they were dead, they were dead thick, Scotty, but... You could stick that in your gob and it would last you maybe 20 minutes. Ah, easy. Yeah. Easy, easy, Scotty. Aye. Right, Scotty, I better go off. Treats, you treats for the wee ones. <laughs> Lovely <laughs> talking to you. Again. And listen, take Good great again. care of yourself. Aye, I will do, Scotty. Scotty, I'm, I'll go off this line because I'm sure there'll be other callers wanting to call in. Lovely to talking to you. Up. Dinky do. Your good self. Lovely talking to you, Scotty. Dinky do. -do. See, Eddie. Dinky do, la la. Dink That's how it is. Dinky do. I say now to the telephones as quickly as possible. What's the topic tonight? We never wing it, Vaughn, as you well know. Uh, God knows, my friend. I'm not sure. Dinky do, Scotty. Lovely to see you, says Dave. What tea are you drinking, Scotty? Hmm. I'm at the water tonight. True, Scotty. Yes, I don't like argy bargy. The fighting's out of order. There are more issues to unite over. Yes. You're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Hello? Hello. Hi, hello. Hello. Hello, can you hear me? Yes, I can. Yes, vamos. Can you hear me? Scotty. Who's that? What? It's Graham. Graham, I think you'll need to turn down your background. My background, right? Sorry. Hello? Hello, that's better, isn't it? That's very cool, yeah. I'm sorry, I had your stream on still. Now you're talking. How you doing, Graham? I'm talking. I'm all right, I'm 
kicking the ball. How are you doing, big man? Fantastic, kicking the ball with you, big man. Yes, that's what I like to hear. Now then, what can so, I do for you? So, what do you think of Mick? Well, I don't think we discuss people on here, to be honest with you, Graham. So there we are. Fantastic. To the telephones as soon as you possibly can. You're watching, I nearly said listening to, you are listening to, but you're watching Scotty McClue, first lord of the internet, hashtag Floatai. If you're live on YouTube, please subscribe and tap the bell so that you know exactly when we're coming on. Very, very important. So there we go. Uh, Scotty McClue live here with you. Who have we got? Jack and Ellie's. Yes, Jack and Ellie's Cafe. How wonderful, Suzanne. Paraffin, my grandfather, yes. There's an Anne Mungers and Annie's Lind under the bridge. Been there for years. I know it, Suzanne. Will not say the name, but I know exactly the one. And that's one of the ones. There we are. We still have a hardware shop like that. Shopkeepers cared about their customers. Back in the good old days, they cared very, very much. You didn't just go online, you see. You called in to see them. Welcome, welcome. If you've just joined us, you're watching Scotty McClure. This is the phone-in for you. The internet phone-in right around the world. If very few people know about it yet, because we're only a few days old. But uh, do come and join us. And please, I beg of you, share and share and share this broadcast. It's very, very important. Let all your friends know. Tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10. And get on the phone in. You'll see the number there. You're watching the Scotty McClue megaphone in with the first lord of the internet. Hashtag Flutai. Call Scotty now on 0141 628 9795. 0141 628 9795. Where'd you get your energy from, Scotty? Of oh, Vaughn. This is me at rest. This is me chilling. <laughs> I'll just have a quick wipe, dude. No bother at all. Fantastic. Now, I hope you're enjoying the phone and I want some feedback. I want you to tell me how it is technically. If you are a Twitcher, go on to Twitch and follow Scotty underscore McClue. If you're on YouTube, of course, get tapping that bell and get subscribing, guys. We must get the subscribers up to give the phone in a proper chance. And it's big. Scotty, I was sad to see in the news, Geronimo, the alpaca, was put to sleep, breaking a lot of hearts. Professor Numpteen, I was very sorry about poor Geronimo. And, uh, you know, a lot of people were saying he was healthy. So there you go. Uh, Scotty, thank you for an interesting, intelligent debate on that. you on TikTok. Ryan, not at all. I was laughing, though, when you said, I don't think you know about the old firm. I don't know a lot about football, Ryan, but I do know a lot about the old firm. And they are the same religion. Catholic and Protestant are identical religions. Exactly the same. There's one or two differences because the Catholics would say that the Protestants are the breakaway brethren. There you are. The stream's technically superb. Dave, I hope it's okay presentation-wise as well. See what I just did there? So it's working well technically. That's great. Geronimo did nothing wrong, says Theo. I know. R.I.P. Geronimo. We love our creatures, don't we? And the alpacas, very, very beautiful. Are the alpacas a sort of llama? A llama? Am I right? Do tell us. Um, so there you are, the government once again, show what they are, a bunch of bullies, no regard for your property. Well, what if Geronimo was carrying something, though? That's the thing that we need to know about. But uh, bless him. Well, he's gone now, so we don't need to know about it. There we have it. I tell you, I can remember it was a distant relative of mine that cured tuberculosis. A wonderful man by the name of John Crofton, Sir John Crofton. And I remember him being interviewed on the television. And I think it was 1948, they brought in streptomycin. Because before that, like a dear old friend of mine, got operated on for TB. You got operated on. And he lost ribs and a bit of a lung, a lobe of a lung, and all that sort of thing. Anyway. So John, in I think it was around 1948, 
when the NHS came in, Sir John brought in streptomycin. And he said, when he was interviewed, he said, we cured 16 and a half million people of tuberculosis. He said, nobody believed us at the time, but we did. And I think that's the doubting Thomas is for you. There's an absolute gent because uh, he was an absolute gent, John Crofton. And, uh, and there you have it streptomycin check it out mcclue speaks verity top quality on the twitch scotty angel that's fantastic i hope you followed me because we're just starting a twitch and we need to build up our followers it's on just chatting there we are uh, it would have been a cow nobody would have blinked an eye says dave i see what you mean ah always a school day with mr mcclue ryan we shall never ever leave you without knowledge I want all of my viewers to be able to say, do you know, I didn't know that, but I do now. And there's no reason not to, I say. Why aren't you answering the phone, sexy? Because you haven't rung, sexy. <laughs> Fantastic, did you do? So there you are. Give us a call, guys, as soon as you like. 0141-628-9795. There we are. Ryan says, I was with a neighbor today. She's just given birth to a son called Quits. So there we are. She is Toby, Liam, Kira, Lucy, Becca, and Quits. So apparently during it, she said, I'm calling this Quits. Well, you saw the other day, I popped up with my little video. A friend, I'd met a friend. He went, hi, Scotty. He said, sorry, this is my son, Six. I thought, what a funny name for a child. So there we are, Six. There we are. I'm phoning. Come on then, phone. Let's hear from you. Scotty McClure's mega phone in just for you. Now, guys, we're only a few nights old, so we're the world's best kept secret. Your job as a viewer is to tell 10, to tell 10, to tell 10, to tell 10. We're live on Facebook. We're streaming on Facebook right now. Fantastic. And uh, we're also streaming on Twitch and we're streaming on YouTube, of course, the Scotty McClue YouTube channel, the big one. And if you can see anything we can sort out technically, do tell us. Absolutely following on the old Twitch, Scotty. Wonderful. An audience, I meant Scotty. Oh, yes, an audience with Scotty McClue. To the telephones, guys. Uh, how's the time? My goodness, we, we've been on here for 28 minutes it seems like 20 seconds uh scotty how many times can the same caller call you in one live stream well eddie just as a tentative rule because we haven't made up the only rules are you don't mention second names you don't mention names of individuals we don't slag people off all that sort of idea so there we are but uh, we said the other day two uh, Alan Brown, greetings again from Washington in D.C. Alan Brown, you are such a top man. We love you watching us in Washington. How good is that? Any time lags, any time delays, anything at all different from watching anywhere else. For the rest of you, if you've just joined us, it's Scotty McClue, the first lord of the internet, hashtag float eye, uh, all in uppercase, the world's most humble man, and the father of feminism. There you go. Dinky do, Alan. Lovely to have you with us. Dinky do from uh, Washington, D.C., in the United States of America. Uh, let us know where you're watching from. In fact, give us a call. Oh, that's lush. Right, guys, this is for you. The Scotty McClure YouTube phone in. Call Scotty now. 0141 Now, you can see it down the bottom, but I just wanted you to know. Can everybody also subscribe and tap the bell on YouTube? Get the subscribers up right now. Theo's phoning from the colonies. Where about are you, Theo? Alan Brown should phone in and tell us about the Andy Murray match he was at. Yes, he should. He is a top man, Alan Brown. And I'll tell you, Alan Brown uh, is a great Burns man. He is from the outskirts of Dumfries and is a great Burns man. And I heard him. He sent me a copy of his address to the haggis. 
It's absolutely outstanding. Just like a Dunhamer would do. So Alan Brown, if you're still watching, you are an outstanding Bunsian scholar. And you're to a haggis. Your address to the haggis was outstanding. OMG is getting Bluetooth steaming laggard. Who is Susan? I'm on the water. It's lovely good water. There we are. Fantastic stuff. Uh, so there you go, Numpteed. Why can't I get through, Sir Jay? I don't know, Jay. You should be able to get through. Are you ringing the right number? 01416289795. There should be nothing to stop you getting through. I said you. There we are. It just rings out, but it should be ringing out on here. Um, I don't know if we got a problem. I don't know if it's your phone. Um, anybody got a problem? Try the phones. Can everybody try the phones? You don't have to. Come on if you don't want to. Just ring the number. 0141-628-9795. See if the phones are working. If not, we'll sort them out for you. I tell you. Okay, so feel free to give us a call, see what's what. Now, there we have it. Um, who have we got here? Yeah, it's just going to an answering machine. Ricky said it's a nice night. I think I'll walk. Are you going to walk, Ryan? Absolutely. There should be a Scotty McClure show on TV. I believe it'd be a success. Eddie Doyle, I think this would be a huge success on television. Now, if we go to one of the mainstream television companies, or even like the new news station that started up, and uh, we say, give us an hour on a Friday night. We take live calls, we take texts, we take emails, all that stuff. We discuss things. Yes, I think it'd be amazing. Answering machine. Right, let me see if I can do something about this, guys. Stay with me. There we go. Okay, I'm getting you coming on. I'm wondering if I can't hear it. I don't want to stop and uh, reinstall everything, but do give us another call and we'll see if we can get you. Right, there we go. Fantastic. Okay, try it, guys, again. That's what I say. I've just been left a voice message. That's good. Somebody's left a voice message. Try and call us again. What have we got here? Okay. No, that seems to be working all right. I just don't understand why it's not ringing. So we'll try that and see if we can get you on. Mm -hmm. It should be. What have I got here? Oh, my goodness, there's all sorts of things we can do here, guys. I've just, I'm discovering new things live. And because we're live, I can't see to them. Uh, Devil Scotty, the person you're trying to reach is completely unavailable. That's what it says. Scotty, I've just tried. It's not working. Scotty, have you got more than one dog? I know one of them passed away. Do you have another dog? No, I don't have a dog at all at the moment. There's Lord Reith behind us, and we Clyde was the one that just passed away about a couple of months ago. Um, let's see what we can do about this, guys. Um, mm -hmm. I'm sure I can manage to do something about it. Now, I'm just having a look here, see if we can get you back in business, guys. That's what it's all about. I'm getting my messages through, so we know it's working. And uh, I got that one through. Yeah, fantastic. So that should be all right. Mm -hmm. I'm not seeing anything that's telling me anything's wrong. Does that make sense? Right, here we go. OK. 
Okay. Yeah. Yep, I'm just checking everything, guys. We seem to be fine. So I'm surprised this isn't working. But what we might... Ah, I think it is. Hello, your live has got his phone in. Who's that? Hello? 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 Hello, who's that? Fuck around the pussy, fuck around the pussy, fuck around the pussy. Hello? Who's that? Hello? We don't know who this is. So there we are. Very, very strange. There we go. Right, give us a call as soon as you possibly can, guys. And we'll get the chat going and see what is what. Uh, we know that the phone line is working, but for some reason we couldn't... Uh, couldn't hear that chat. Well, great, says Vaughn. There you go, Vaughn. Scotty, what's your preference when it comes to live stream as a TikTok, YouTube, or Facebook? But if you could, would you choose radio? Well, the thing about radio is everybody can get right into that. You're live with Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Hello, Scotty. It's Dave Deprave. Dave Deprave. How are we, sir? I'm great. I'm just giving the line a test. and just it, it, it seems to be working now, so I just... Nice to talk to you. I'll let you get on the next call, mate. No, not at all. That's so good of you, Dave. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. Good. Are you enjoying the phone in? I am. It's going really well so far. Good it's, stream. Well, I we're only a going. few nights old, you know. Yeah, yeah, all going good. And if we can yeah, get I this can. one going, Dave, we're on a winner. You are. Nice one. Well, Love thank you, Dave, Sky. Lovely talking to you, Dinky Do. That's it. That was good of Dave to ring us in. Very, very much appreciated. We like that. You live with Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Hello, Scotty. It's Alan. Alan from Washington. I'm from Washington, D.C. I heard you say we weren't allowed to say his second name, but it's Brown. Yeah, oh, Alan, don't you worry about that. I don't know if you heard me discussing your prowess in the Bunsian field. Thank you very much. Did you like my um, address to the Haggard? Well, I've just explained to the world who are watching right now um, that your address to the Haggis is outstanding and you are a oh, Bunsian thank scholar. Oh, thank you very much. And I told them that you were effectively a Dunhamer. Would that be fair? Well, yes, I would be very fair. I was born in, in the city of Dumfries in the good um, hospital there for the, for the birth of babies. It's called Cresswell. Cresswell Hospital, so, Dumfries. We love it. Yes. Yep. So I'm a Dunhamer. I support the football team as well. The I Queen of the team. South. I don't like a lot of football. <laughs> the Queen of the South, of course. Yes, absolutely. Alan, I hope this isn't costing you. It should be costing me because I've paid for the number. So with a bit of luck, it should be free. We like that. It's free, it's for me. Yes, absolutely. Now, how are things in Washington, D.C.? Things are going very well here in Washington, D.C. We've had a little bit of a changeover. We've got uh, the politics going on with um, the coming out of Afghanistan. And, yes. Um, lots of things going on. but um, And Alan, without being too... Without being too political, I get the impression Uncle Joe hasn't just delivered as much as people hoped. I would suggest, Scotty, that you're correct. You know, um, I, I think I think there's there's really there's one or two people missing the Donald. <laughs> yes, there are. <laughs> yes, there are. And apparently, um, you can right. also see it at the petrol pumps. Gone up. But you see, the thing is, Scotty, you can't really compare the prices in America to to Britain no. at all to Scotland. Do you, do you still have sensible we, gas prices, Alan? Yes, we we pay we pay per gallon what you pay per liter. Ah, I'm I'm moving to America, <laughs> and I'm bringing my oh, car with me. Yes, as long as it's a great big. 
a big gas guzzler. We love it. And the Donald, uh, you know, I mean, the Donald, I think, got a very rough deal from the mainstream media. Yes. You know, I mean, I think I think it was harsh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. from, from that point of view. Now, Alan, if I if this was real, I would love you to have one of these. Say that one more time, Scotty. If this that I'm holding something up here, and I don't think you'll be able to uh -huh. see it because you're probably on your phone. So uh -huh. if this was real, I'd like you to have one. Oh, you have the drink for me, are you? Yes, this Scotty? is this is for you, and I would like you to have one of these. And I you'll see it 40 minutes into the YouTube. It's I only will, it's I only a sample, but it's the thought that counts. Thank you very much, Scotty. You go and uh, enjoy the rest of your show. I'm sure it's going to be a firm success. And I'm going to say once more, Andy to Andy Murray and to all of your listeners, Dinky Doo and from Alan Hughes. Alan, Dinky Doo to you, and thank you so much for that wonderful video. The people over here have loved it thousands have seen it and alan I, I, alan are, uh -huh. you, are you still with us i'm just thinking yes. uh, on a winter's night i think you should make me walk very good does that ring a I bell yes yes <laughs> Especially when we ha when I have a cold. Yes, top man. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, do, my dear I fellow. Many blessings. Right, oh, and and congratulations to ourself. Oh, thank you very much. Yes, and the wee ones. I thought that was amazing. I follow you on Facebook. Oh, thank you very much. Yes, and Dinky do. Scotty. Love you a lot. Love you a lot, sir, and love to America. There we are. That's Alan from Washington in D.C. Absolutely amazing. If you've just joined us, a very warm welcome to you. You're watching Scotty McClure. We are, of course, live on the big one. Who have we got here? You're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Dinky Doo. Dinky Doo. What football? Aye, what football you up to? We don't really talk football on here. No, no, no. I mean agents. What football agents are you up to? What football agents? Yeah, because I remember you saying a story about um, George Best. Oh, George Best. George Best and I had the same agent. Oh, did you? Yes, yes. I didn't ask. There you go. A wonderful man. Fantastic. That's the stuff I say. We're busy tonight, guys. My goodness me. Right. Uh, you're watching Scotty McClure. This is the big one. Uh, I can see your messages, Welsh. Every day can we get liking and sharing for Scotty McClure. Monopoly money, says Vaughn. Absolutely. <laughs> you're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Hello, it's Ron. Ron, did you do? Thank you, to you, Scotty. How's it going? I'm good. How are you? I'm on this fine Tuesday evening. This fine Tuesday evening. We are absolutely loving it. Lovely. Are you enjoying the phone-in? Yes, the phone-in's amazing tonight, Scotty. I've got to say it. We've had some really good guests. It's a However, cracker. And we've had you on. No, no, I've not been on yet, Scotty. I've not been on yet. You're coming on later. Yes, I was just wanting to wonder, when was the last time you did a big steaming job? Oh, no. My goodness me. You mustn't uh, think that everybody has got your lifestyle. There you go, Ron. Fantastic. Poor soul. <laughs> That's the level his brain's at. Isn't that a shame? Now, who have we got here? Uh, yes. Here's another one. Uh, here's a much better John. John from Larry. How lovely to have you with us. And dink you do. You could have spent that big note, Scotty. Nobody could give you change. Absolutely. Do you remember there was a movie called The Million 
pound note and it was just that nobody could actually change it to the telephones guys as soon as possible and let's have a wee chat with you i say um it's a good show tonight scotty very very good susan yes it's picking up we've only been on for a few nights susan so you know it's amazing just how well it's actually working give us a call guys try and not be anonymous because i won't take your calls so if it's anonymous make sure i'm glesney's husband she was a lyric girl welsh i do know exactly who you are i was just thinking about you today and wondering how you're getting on fantastic give us a call it would be good to hear from you if you feel you're up to it you know i would always understand there we are absolutely and of course we had so much joy talking to dear glesney amazing guys check that you've got your number showing here very important because i don't want to take anonymous calls so that i can see that it's somebody genuine and just not somebody like that poor we have witted john that rang us up a few minutes ago what a state he was imagine operating at that level if we were lying in the gutter he'd be looking up at us I see. so remember check your number and if it's showing anonymous then you'll not get through call scotty mccrew with the megaphone in first lord of the internet hashtag float i l141628 nine five thank you says welsh absolutely the words go out to the numpties bring back the numpties half hour absolutely professor numpty though i remember that poor soul that phoned me in that uh, that was the level he was operating at he must have an iq of one you know that means my iq is 167 times his oh uh, phone not working, Scotty. How do I fix Jay? It's working fine this end, so it shouldn't be a problem. Uh, just make sure that your number goes out and it doesn't come through as anonymous. So there are. I can't take the anonymous calls. I will end up with a, a shout of half wits. So there we are. This anonymous again. If you're ringing right now, remember your number's not showing up. That's him. Now, oh, we wiped down what we call a comfort break, because this studio is roasting tonight. Can you believe I've been up for 48 minutes? Now, there's another anonymous call, which I can't take. Check your numbers, guys. Make sure that the number will show up when you ring. There's another anonymous call. Not sure how to display my number, Scotty, these stupid phones. Is it you phoning right now, Jay? Is that you, Jay? Hello. Is that Jay? Yes, hello. How are you, Jay? Yeah, I'm fine. How are you? Very well. these phones nowadays. Ah, the, these newfangled phones. What can yeah. I do for you? Um, George Best is an alcoholic. <laughs> Well, I, he's, he's, he is speaking the truth, but I don't think that's very fair uh, to speak ill of the dead. Great to see the phone in back. We love it. Angel Dinky Do. Lovely to have you with us. And well done, I say. Make sure that you display your phone. Was that you, Jay? Do tell us. I don't think it would be. I think that was somebody else. Yes, it's a marvellous thing, the phone in, but we obviously have to be on our metal for the Numpty Heads, and that's no disrespect to Professor Numpty Head, who professes to be a Numpty Head, but he's not. There we are. Fantastic. Love it, love it, love it. Give us your chat, guys. Let us know what is what. John, I hope you're getting on well. Welsh, John. Did you go back to Wales, John? that water is absolutely lush can everybody watching right now if you're on youtube subscribe please very important tap the bell and the 1600 videos for you <clears throat> if you're on twitch make sure you follow me there's another anonymous it's no good you're live with scotty's phone in who's that hello hello can I taste your fart? There we go. 
Sadly, I don't think uh, you're on the right phone in. So there you go. I think maybe you need a helpline. <laughs> yes, I went back to Wales and I'm living here now. Well done, John. And every strength to you. Sorry, Scotty. Not at all, Jay. So that wasn't you. Water is life. Vodka is a party, says Professor Numpty Heat. Fantastic. What an amazing phone in tonight, guys. Where I think this will be phone in nine. Now, let's just say that three or four of them were technical rehearsals. Technical rehearsals. So this is Ella's four months old now. Bless you, John, and bless we, Ella. We had such fun with Glesney, and, uh, you know, it was just, what can you do? I remember the Sunday, and I remember the good news that she'd made an excellent recovery. And then, of course, the devastating news. But, John, listen, you knew her. She is the mother of your child, and you loved her, and she loved you. You can't beat that, so there we are. I'll not be taking anonymous, guys, because we'll just end up with idiots. So you must show that your number comes up and gets properly recorded in the stream. There we go. Fantastic. So if you're coming on as anonymous, we'll just have to say bye to you. Angels sending their hearts. Uh, so there we are. You need uh, Skype needs a setting to ban the anonymous. Yes, we might have one up to heed. Good thinking. Excellent. Because there's no point in taking anonymous calls. They're just going to be somebody with a tiny, tiny brain. And, and maybe one for an IQ. So there we are. So unless your number's on, don't bother funny. And if you hear it ring and disappear, it's because it's anonymous. There we are. She loved your channel. Well, we just had such fun on TikTok. Guys, if you're TikTokers, get on and follow Scotty McClue on TikTok and subscribe on YouTube. Let's get building. So there we are. Anonymous, if you're listening, no point in calling. Just no point. Okay? We're just going to have to dump you and send you down the swanee. So, guys, make sure your number can display if you're phoning Scotty McClue. Not a problem, I say. Uh, I'll get my people to look into it, says Numpty Heed. Excellent, Numpty Heed. That would be very, very good of you. Uh, please feel free to give us a call, guys. There's no problem at all. But make sure that your Skype displays the number. Otherwise, I won't take the call. Okay? There's a guy phoning all the time there. He's anonymous, and we're never going to take his call. All right? Uh, we don't want too many idiots on here. Because we're trying to raise the bar, I say. Fantastic. You know, automatically block withheld numbers. I'll look into it, Stuart. I probably can. And I think that would be a very good idea. And it would certainly tidy things up from the off. You know, this one keeps ringing. I think it'll be the same one with an anonymous. So, doing the swanee with them, I say. The crank collar is relentless. Always relentless. Cranks don't like being pointed out that they're cranks. And this one's being told in no uncertain terms. He is a crank. Uh, and we love that. There we are. Great fun. Doon the swanee. As soon as you hear it ring, shout, Doon the swanee. There we are. That's what it's about. Scotty, if you could choose your hours on live stream, what would it be? Eddie, I think we might do a couple of hours in the morning. Maybe 10 till midday, you know, that sort of thing. I think that would be quite a good idea. See what goes on there. You know, fantastic stuff. But do give us a call, guys. You're very, very welcome. You're watching Scotty McClure. And we are, of course, live on the big one. We're live on Twitch. We're live on YouTube. And we're live on Facebook. Doing the swanny with them, Numpty Heat. That's what we're doing. And it's so satisfying. Just chucking this crank, doing the swanny every second or two. I do love it. Uh, there we are, doing the swanny with them. Glesney could never believe there was no Mrs. McClue. She's very kind, John. That's all I can say. Doing the swanny with the dafty. Doing the swanny. Here we go. Doing the swanny. This is good. Here we go again. Come on, cranky. Come on, cranky. Ring up for doing the swanny. 
We're having dinner, Swanee. There we are. Cranky's ringing here, guys. It's great fun. Doing the swanny with cranky. Doing the swanny with cranky. Uh, right, we've been up for 55 minutes. Just outstanding tonight. Wonderful. Doing the swanny, Dave Deprave. Give it up, says Andrew Mackay. That's what he should do, Andrew. Get Johnson on the phone, Scotty. I think we'll need to get Johnson the butler. Scotty, do you think you'll get another Doug? I don't think so, Eddie. You know, but we, we'll see. He's worn his radar number out. There he goes. Doing the swanny with him. Thank you, Alan. Fantastic. Are you all ready to shout, doing the swanny, when Cranky calls? We love doing the swanny. <laughs> oh, come on again, you bams. Fantastic. Doing the swanny. We love it. So there he goes, Jay. That's him, doing the swanny. Now... What I might do, guys, I've just had a thought. Might be an idea to... Um... See if this goes. Hold on, guys. I'm just looking at some of the options here. This is quite good. Yes, this is very good here. I've got some quite good permissions here, guys. So that's rather good. Very interesting. We like this. Right, I'll get the permissions sorted about that one, and uh, we'll send them to the Swanee for good. Um, do you have to ring through, or can you call on a normal landline? Well, she can call on the normal landline, and it should be absolutely free. Answer him and ask him not to swear, and asking what his reasons for hounding are. That's an idea. Hello, you're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Hey, what on, you? What there we go. Very strange. Right. We don't know what his reasons are because he wasn't able to speak. Really, says Suzanne. Yes, Suzanne. Fantastic. Now, um, I think we'll chuck it for the night there, guys. It's been an absolute joy. Hello, what do you want? Hello. 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 There we are. Fantastic. Are we going to put your number on and sort it, I see. That's very good. Okay, that's good. All right, excellent stuff. Uh, one more call before we go. Good night, Scotty. Stay safe. Good night, Susan. Absolutely. You can't reason with a fault tongue, Scotty. You certainly cannot. Doing the swanny with these idiots. Right. Been an absolute joy and a privilege, guys. I have to say, lovely to have you with us. Take great care of your dear selves, and we will be back perhaps tomorrow. We think the timing for the big phone-in will be 10 o'clock on a Friday night. Does that suit every day? So we're talking 10 o'clock on Friday nights for the phone in. Uh, let me know, have a, I mean, chew that over tonight and decide if that's what you want to do. All right, and we will uh, we'll sort that out. Fantastic. Till then, this is Scotty McClure saying dinky do to every single one of you. I'll sing you the goodbye song. Are we ready? Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Take care, everybody, as you go. Goodbye, everybody. A vita zane, au revoir, and a cheery oh. Scotty McClure saying dinky do to every single one of you. Good night, God bless, and ta-da-las. Stay fabulous, guys. <laughs>